Kevin, cybersecurity is obviously top of mind for security end users today. So what is the Avi Group doing to help provide end users with greater peace of mind relative to this challenge? Certainly. Uh, well, the Ava Group has uh, recognized that uh, cybersecurity has been something slightly underserved within the physical security market. So taking a look at our product base, uh, we decided to launch an initiative, the Cybersecurity Center of Excellence. Uh, within that, we are doing penetration vulnerability testing, uh, looking at our products holistically and how they stand up against known cybersecurity standards. Uh, we do internal testing, uh, we do remediation, we publish the test results, hardening guides, uh, guidelines for our customers to ensure that our products are safe and secure on their networks. Do you think that uh, physical security uh, on the corporate network is something that most companies and organizations overlook today? And if so, what are some of the things organizations can do better to help protect their network access points against physical intrusion? Sure. Well, I, I do think there has been uh, a lack of focus in the physical security industry on how their products uh, operate on the data networks. Certainly within the broader IT market, uh, the IT organizations are very aware of the risk and vulnerabilities associated with uh, cybersecurity uh, and information security. Within the physical security world, uh, we're starting to see movement in that regard. Companies are becoming aware that their products sit on the network and they can expose organizations to risk, uh, certainly with uh, hacking and, and vulnerabilities. Uh, I think that trend needs to continue. There needs to be more of a focus of standardization of physical security products and how they relate to cybersecurity. Uh, one such organization that's doing that is the UL with the publication of the 2900 standards. Uh, it's early in the adoption phase, but I think the more we see uh, companies try to land align to these standards, it will allow uh, customers and organizations to understand what their products are that they're buying, how they're going to operate on their networks, and what risk profiles they, they may have if they purchase those products. You know, sort of segueing on that, uh, do you have any comments on the NIST standards versus the UL standards? Well, I, I do, and I don't think it's an either or, uh, actually. You know, when I look at NIST from the cybersecurity framework, the CSF standard, that's a broad set of framework that's supposed to guide and push organizations in the right direction. The UL 2900 uh, certainly draws from the CSF, but takes it a step deeper and looks at the actual product. So not only how is my network secure, but how is my product life cycle? How do I manage the development of this product over time to ensure that it meets these frameworks? So I think the two go hand in hand. Uh, if I were a product manufacturer, I would look at something very specific for my products, 2900 for example, uh, but my organization itself, how I, I handle data, how we process data as a whole as a company, uh, would fall under the, the NIST CSF. Can you provide some examples of how end users today are leveraging your technology to better protect your data net, protect their data net? Absolutely. So our technology is being used by the Indian MOD, for example. We had a, a major recent win in that regard, protecting their entire uh, military data network. Uh, we've done that for nuclear organizations, financial, as well as U.S. government uh, and military organizations. So people that are that are critical infrastructure or transmitting uh, very sensitive data. Data, it provides an extra layer of protection above and beyond any controls they may already have in place.